Good morning, Centurions. I'm AJ. And I'm Jackson. This is Channel 97 News. Let's see what's coming your way for lunch. Today for lunch, we'll be having chicken nuggets with waffle or cheeseburger with deli roasters and oven roasted broccoli. Thanks for the lunch, Austin. Now let's check out the weather with Wesley. For the weather today, it will be a partly cloudy with a high of 46 and a low of 25. Tomorrow, it will be a little bit warmer with a high of 54 and a low of 29. So still a little bit chilly. I would recommend a light jacket or a hoodie. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for the weather report, Wesley. Now let's go to sports with Emery. Thanks, guys. Today in sports, soccer and volleyball is away on Monday against West Pine and away Thursday against Northmore at Ely's Middle. Don't forget that boys' soccer pitchers will be tomorrow on the field right after school, and volleyball girls will be in the gym for pitchers on Wednesday right after school as well. Back to you all in the studio. Let's check out um, this day in history with Brody. In ancient Rome, Emperor Claudius outlawed marriages because he thought too many men were attached to their wives and families, so they wouldn't join his armies. A holy priest named Valentine kept on performing marriages in secret in defiance of Claudius. When the emperor found out, he ordered Valentine to be beaten to earth with clubs and beheaded. The legend is that, while he was in jail awaiting death, he left a note for a lady friend and signed it, From your Valentine. His sentence was carried out on February 14th in 270 AD after his death has named Saint and Legend of Valentine. It continues to be one of the love this day. Thanks for the historical facts, Brody. Let's check out um, today's Black History Spotlight. Damon John is a multi-million dollar businessman. He was born February 4th, 1969. He went to Bayside High School and never went to college. After college, he worked at Red Lobster before becoming one of the best entrepreneurs in the world. He is best known as the Chief Executive Officer of F F F U B U, which began as a garage operation with a few of his friends after he had some success of his own. Selling hats at neighborhood events, in 1997 he created the F U B U Foundation, which works, which works with unprivileged youth by supporting education, arts, and science initiatives. In 2008, John was called by TV producer Mark Brunette to be on the show Shark Tank. He is worth $350 million and is known as one of the best sharks on Shark Tank with the, with the massive income. He has overcome many obstacles in his life to get, where he, or to get where he has been today and to keep his business alive and flourishing. Thanks, Ryan. Check out these public service announcements. We are the new green team. We are looking for you to help us as well as our environment. As the ecosystem of Earth gets weaker and weaker because of Earth trash, we need the Centurion Nation to help us and our environment. Here's some examples of what you can and cannot recycle. This is what we can recycle, including cans, paper, newspaper, magazines and mixed paper, cardboard jars, plastic bottles, metal containers, including tin, aluminum, and steel cans. The following you cannot recycle. Styrofoam, avoid styrofoam containers and bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Thin film can get tangled in recycling machines. Cords, aerosol cans, grocery bags, batteries, mirrors, and clothes, clothes hangers on top of this. The green team has made a decision. We will hold a contest starting March 1st for each grade, level competing for a prize. In order to win, y'all will need to keep the trash out of your recycling bins. A prize will be awarded to the grade level. We will collect trash and decide who the winner on Earth Day. Attention 8th graders, have you been to a Union Pines football game and watched the Union Pines marching band at halftime? Now you all have the opportunity to join the largest student organization at Union Pines. There will be an interest meeting on Tuesday, February 15th at 6 p.m. in the Union Pines band room and you are all invited to attend. We are also looking for students who would like to be in the color guard. No musical or band experience is necessary to be in the color guard. Please see Mrs. Simmons for more details. We hope to see you there. Before we go, I have a joke. What do you call birds that stick together? I don't know. Velcros. <laughs> Looks like that's it for today, Centurions. And that's Next Channel 97, 97 News. Have, have a great, great day, Centurions. Welcome back to Student on the Street. I'm Reese, and I'm here with... Tyler. What grade are you in? Six. What's your favorite sport? Football. What's your favorite color? Blue. That's it for Student on the Street. 